Um, my name is Kenny Van Buren. <clears throat> Lots of attention has been given to uh, Lieutenant Clary's uh, body-worn camera video, the fact that he, or what's been alleged, that he, he hid the video. But I'll submit to you that that isn't even remotely accurate. The video was properly labeled and uploaded to evidence.com. It's a, a video repository on the same morning of Mr. Green's death. And maybe just maybe on our part, Criminal Investigation Division, that maybe we just didn't do a good job at looking for it, but it was there. Well, Lieutenant Colonel Cameron, you said in your statement uh, that you emailed to us mm -hmm. that you were attended the meeting on May 20th, uh, 2021, with Colonel Davis and Lieutenant Colonel Kane with uh, DA Belton. Yes, sir. So you said in your response to that, it says, um, during this meeting with DA Belton and LSP staff, we had a very deliberate discussion in reference to Lieutenant Clary's video and the actions observed by the officers on the scene and whether or not additional charges were warranted. Uh, what do you mean by that when you said you had a very deliberate discussion? Yeah, and I've, I've heard and watched some of the uh, testimony prior to me getting here today, and I know that there's been some discussion and questioning brought up as to what was happening in that meeting. Um, as you see, I noted that I was called and invited uh, with Colonel Davis and uh, the people that were listed to go and review and watch the video that had now been uh, delivered to the DA and that had now been uh, part of the supplemental report by Sergeant Paxton. What I mean by that is we were at a table in the DA's office discussing the video that was being shown and there was conversations on what everybody saw and what was your interpretation of what was being shown here. And the deliberate conversation was, what is your opinion? What do you see here? Do you think that there should be additional charges? That's what I mean by that statement. And could you tell me what was the, what were, was the opinion of the people sitting at that table about whether or not there should be charges? Yeah, we walked away that there were, we didn't see in our opinion that there were charges uh, based on the evidence that we were looking at in particular uh, to the video that they were showing us. So everyone, everyone including, including the DA Belton and everybody else from Louisiana State Police or just the no, state everyone police? everyone did not agree. I mean, there was some discussion from the DA as to should these be charges, should charges be brought here. I can tell you when we walked out of that door, our, our opinion was that there were, we didn't find enough information or evidence to, to bring up any other charges. And if there were charges, what was said was, Mr. DA, if you believe that there are something that rises to that level to bring charges, by all means, you have the authority as well to, to pursue that. But so in that meeting, the opinion of everyone from state police was there was nothing in the Clary video that rose to the level of necessitating a any charge because there was no charge done. There has still haven't been any charges filed, right? No, sir. Okay. Is it right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, tell me, are you were you aware that Clary accessed this video while he was saying that he did not have the video, that there was no video? It, it certainly, in the audit trail, it certainly uh, shows. Audit trail? That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yes, it shows where he uploaded it, and there were several other people who actually. I know you talked it. about it was there. Right. We got that. But I, I think at some point, well, some of the testimony that we've heard is that Clary said that the video didn't exist. You, you unaware of that? I, look. Uh, I, that there was no video? I, I can't. I, I can't. We can't prove or disprove that. You can't prove or disprove whether he said that? We can't, because if you remember uh, when Sergeant Paxson was here, he, um, he said that that was a conversation that happened or occurred between he and Clary. So there weren't any witnesses. So if, oh, so since so there we weren't any witnesses, we, okay, we're going we're gonna to just... Well, it's a his word against his word, I, I, right? Scott, Scott Davis saw this video within, what, uh, we, two weeks? Of the incident, what'd you say? Yes, ma'am. I I believe it was um, in Within late May or early June, but it was it was an appropriate time period for receiving a use of force report. And Scott Davis was an expert on use of force, was he not? Yes, ma'am. And so, who would he have given that information to immediately? He wouldn't have just not done anything with it right so as i stated earlier in in response to representative bacala he asked to speak to me about the use of force report in the video mm -hmm. uh, lieutenant colonel van buren i may have been born at night but i wasn't born last night so i want to talk about your testimony regarding albert paxton you stated that i believe that he logged on to the system in july 2019 correct that is correct. But he didn't have access to the videos, to watch the videos then, did he? 
well, according to the audit trail, that's what it appears. He's, he's in the audit trail. So if he accessed that system, he watched something. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Van Buren, I'm going to stop you, mm -hmm. and, I, and, and, and I'm going to let you have an opportunity to think <laughs> about that answer. There are emails from Albert Paxton requesting repeatedly to be able to have access to watch the videos. Mm -hmm. He needed, he couldn't search for videos, and he couldn't watch videos without being granted access to the videos. Tell me I'm right or tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. I'm wrong. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And when did he watch the videos, Lieutenant Clary's video? When did he watch Lieutenant Clary's video? Well, that wouldn't have been until after that, that particular video was identified. But that does not mean that he didn't have access. Ma'am, what I'm telling you is that he had access. He was given access. And if he didn't have access, he could have certainly requested access, and we can show that he was in the system. And you, you're telling me he could log on and he could search for Lieutenant Clary's video? He could have. He could have? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And, and if I tell you there's emails to the contrary where he's requesting the ability to access the videos, you're going to tell me it, they don't exist? Ma'am, the only thing that I can tell you is I'm looking at an audit trail with his name on it. And when? And, and, and it gets back to that very question of counting the officers and knowing the officers who were on the scene and making sure you had every video. And when you sat down with the DA, making sure that every video was there. So if you wanted to know, because you should have known, you would have known. Ma'am, and to your point, and look, I agree with you again. 